Well, hello, flatties and advocates of the spinning ball. Yes, here we are again. And, well, another video on sinking ships. Unfortunately, the last one wasn't very much good news for the flatties there. I was terribly sorry about that. And so, well, we better go out and repeat it again. I tried to zoom in and reveal those hulls, but nope, just couldn't do it. So we'll go back and we'll take a few more pictures on a different day. Maybe the results will change. Let's wait and see. So for this video, we're going back to Redcliffe because we've got a great view across the bay over here to Morton Island and over here to Fisherman's Island which has the Port of Brisbane and we're going to see there's usually some big ships there. No little putt-putt boats and no little sailing boats. No, we're going for the big stuff. We're going to be man-sized ships here. Okie dokie. So let's have a look at some of the distances just for the fun of it because I'm not making the calculations today. So, but uh, the distance to Morton Island is there, 16 miles, 26 kilometers approximately. Distance to Fisherman Island is 16 kilometers, 10 miles roughly. And from my other observation points, it's roughly 14 kilometers and nearly nine miles. So we're going to show you some photographs from these points at varying heights and to see just to see what the effect is if you know is there flatness is there curves okie dokie let's go to the photographs now so I'm going to start with a photo I took from the top of Mount Kutha, which is about a distance of 30 miles and it's 220 meters high. So from that height, you can easily see that there's a beach on that island. And when I take the picture from Margate, the Esplanade, that's not the same area of island. I understand this. The important thing about this photograph is that the beach cannot be seen not even close so if that was flat i would expect to see some beach there anyway oh oh um oh that i'm not sure what it looks a little bit like a ship well the top of a ship where's the rest of it it appears to be sinking i did think about dialing the emergency number and reporting it but oh i don't know maybe it wasn't sinking maybe it was just over the curve uh, i think so and there it is oh i don't know anyway well let's go long distance over to the port of brisbane and there's the ship e-u-k-o-r not sure how you might pronounce that uko and it has a white piece on the top and a blue piece on the bottom and there's the water underneath so it's at the port and there's another ship at the port being filled up with containers or unloaded one of the two and it looks like the words Costco shipping on the side and let's take a bit of a closer look at that yes we'll come it looks like Costco shipping because some of it's cut off by the Lego blocks on the horizon yes let's see oh yes so we then move spot we're gonna go a little bit higher it is a little bit closer than the last one and I don't know the exact height but it's around about 50 feet up and so when we go up you would think you can see further over the curve if there was a curve and it shouldn't make much difference on flatland to see the ships. So just another photo slightly zoomed in so you may be able to just make out the port. So let's take a photo from here. 
And yes, the ship, you can see more of the ship. And there's red underneath the blue, and there's a little boat there. Now, according to the relative size of the boats, now this one is much further away because it's a lot smaller. Well, no, not really. It's just small. Anyway, this you could not see before this blue and red. You could only see the top of the Costco shipping. And now let's have a look. Zoom in. Yes, uh, that's Costco shipping indeed with the little blow boat in front of it. And what else can you say? I've taken a couple of photos of the wharf just so that you can see that it has what looks like pylons or something under the big crane there. And some tracks and wheels, interesting. And there's another big crane with some pylons. And here's the other ship. And yes, it's got red underneath the blue. We didn't see that before. All we've done is just gone a little bit higher. Shouldn't really make any difference if everything was flat, as they say. No, it's looking a little bit round. Now they come to Woody Point and this is the beach and the jetties over this way. We're gonna, we've set up here and you can see the port over there. And here's our picture of our ship. Uh, now we've come closer, but we've gone down in height and we can no longer see the red. Why can't we see the red? We're closer. We should. There's less atmosphere between us and the ship now. Ah, but the water has risen. Yes, of course. The ship is sinking. Oh, the, but really, I'm not so sure about that. I think there's a curve there. Yes, indeed. And this one here. You can see on this now, we talk about atmospheric refraction and there are some distortions here, but you can see that it's very close to the ship. The ship is big, very big. This little tiny bit of distortion is not gonna hide a big ship. That's, you can still see a big ship, there's a lot of it missing. And there's this tiny little bit of distortion here. It's not going to hide the whole ship. No way. And here, they see the little Lego block floating in the foreground there, but it can't actually obscure the huge crane behind it. No. Then there, but the water can. Yes, the curve can obscure the bottom of the crane. No problem. And there again. And the red's missing from the u core now. And here's, we're from a slightly different angle over here. There's a few Lego block trees there that are hiding the ship. Ah, uh, yes. But the water is there hiding the bottom of the red part of the ship we could see before. We're closer now, but we can't see the red. That means there must be a curve going on. If it was flat, you wouldn't see that. And where we go down to the beach here now, and there's a view back towards the place where I took the other photo. And there's a view from the beach out to the port, a little bit closer. And the, we've gone just down. The water has risen up. The, we've suddenly made the water cover more of the port. Yes, that's pretty good. Just like that. And the water's come up onto the, the U-Core. And you can see that there is quite a bit of breeze and a bit of chop. But the uh, chop is just chop.
It's like, you know, and look how small the chop is. You get over there. So it's not like you have a 15 foot chop here that's taken over and you can't see the ship because of it. There's blue and red under there, we know. Ah, yes. And our Costco shipping has actually almost disappeared. I can still see it has blue bow there. Ah, but the most of the hull has disappeared. And we've just gone down. Yes, sir. And there is a little bit of moisture in the air but I can see through it I can still see the ship and there I've gone and stood up so here I was very close to the water as close as I could get without getting wet and then I stood up in there at the spot that I was and a little bit more of the ship becomes visible this sort of strange phenomenon very strange i don't think you're going to see that on a flat earth i think that's pretty much talking about curve right there well anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you again another day don't forget to subscribe